Elena Conti. Good evening, thank you for the opportunity. I'm Elena Conti, Director of Policy at Pratt Center for Community Development, part of the Thriving Communities Coalition. Uh, first off, I really want to thank the commissioners and the staff for the inclusion of the topic of comprehensive planning in the preliminary staff report, or whatever name it may go under. Um, your inclusion of that is recognition that there has been major public outcry that the current planning system is failing to support the New Yorkers of today, and that is not set up to meet our increasing future needs. The status quo just cannot stand with regard to planning um, and with regard to the outcomes of planning. Uh, I've had the privilege of testifying in multiple arenas on this topic, and I look very much forward to participating um, in upcoming working meetings to address the details of operationalizing the recommendations. But for tonight, and in respect to uh, all the members of the public who are still waiting for your attention, the most important point I want to raise is that as a city, we can and must build on your preliminary recommendations and go deeper to make meaningful changes. We are prepared to work closely with you to do so and to arrive at the best, most feasible outcome that goes for the big thing, right? Um, to your question of whether those who are united in their call for comprehensive planning are clear in their vision for it, uh, we've submitted an eight-point summary that aims to clarify the major components for you. There could be lots of different roadmaps to those components, and again, we'd love to work on it uh, alongside you. I'll touch on uh, points three through six right now. Um, uh, number three is citywide and localized analyses. These are com uh, cohesive data analyses well within the existing capacity of the Department of City Planning, and many aspects of it are currently being performed, but just in ad hoc and distributed ways, streamlining it uh, and adding a few key measures that don't yet exist, uh, such as a citywide displacement risk analysis, will strengthen existing systems as well as make it easier for communities to get the information they want to know at intervals when they need it for planning, not just when considering development proposals. Uh, number four, process for balancing local and citywide needs. The local engagement and investment in planning will build buy-in to the entire process and allow for communities to choose the ways they want to move forward, squarely in the context of being part of a larger whole um, uh, to whose goals they also contributed instead of being told what those city goal citywide goals are from down from on high, right? Uh, the next piece is equitable distribution of resources to achieve it. All the goals and targets need to be in one place and need to speak to each other as well as be measured and reported on. And then coordinating with capital budget. I could say more about that, but in sum, a comprehensive planning cycle must result in a single, easily identifiable framework to repair our broken piecemeal system. Integrating and aligning the planning policy making it in the budget in an intentional way is needed to achieve this. Let's step in together. You're brilliant, the staff is brilliant, advocates are brilliant. We can challenge ourselves to strive more and let's just get to work. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Conti. 